In this problem, the Pereira boards produces two kinds of skateboards. Selected unit data for the two boards for the last quarter follow. So in this problem, they give us all our production costs, our direct materials, direct labor, and allocated overhead for each product. They tell us the total units produced and sold, and they tell us the total sales revenue for each product. Perez allocates production overhead using activity-based costing. It allocates delivery expense and sales commissions, which amount to $59,500 per quarter, to the two products equally. So we need to round our answers to two decimal places. Um, don't round intermediate calculations. Um, if an intermediate calculation is used from part A and part B, do not round that calculation used in part B. So compute the per unit cost for each product. So we have to be very careful not to get overwhelmed by this information. It's not that difficult. It's not that challenging. You've got to pay attention to what it's asking and use the knowledge and tools that you've gained uh, throughout your courses to answer this question. So compute the per unit cost for each product. Well, we know that direct materials plus direct labor plus overhead makes up the cost of a product. So let's see what that looks like. So we have the Basco, and we have the Shimano boards. We need our direct materials cost, our direct labor cost, and our overhead cost. They tell us in the story that direct materials is $25.10 per board. So $25.10 times the number of boards. Well, they tell us the number of units produced is 5,100. So we'll multiply that times 5,100. Same thing for the um, Shimano. That is $38.20 per board, which is 9,100. And we'll do the same thing for labor and overhead. So I went ahead and put all this information here really quickly. I haven't multiplied them out yet. I absolutely think you can do that. So I'll let you do that on your own. But in the story, it tells us that delivery, um, delivery expense and sales commissions, which add up to 59,500, were um, applied to the products equally. So that number comes out, if we divide that 59,500 by two or multiply it times 50%, you should get 29,750 getting allocated to each product. So that's for delivery and sales commissions expense. So when we add up all these expenses, we get total um, production costs for our Basco of $395,675. And for the Shimano, we get $395,675. That is not correct. So I'm gonna edit that piece of the video. So when we add up all the production costs for both our Basco and Shimano, we get $395,675 for the Basco and $1,045,310 for the Shimano. Now again, we haven't answered the question. The question wants us to compute the per unit cost for each product. So now that we've got the total cost of production, we can simply divide that by the number of units produced and that will give us the cost per unit. So if you divide this, the Basco by the 5100 and the Shimano by the 9100, that will give you the cost per unit. So you should get 7758 for the Bosco and you should get 11487 for the Shimano. Now in part B, we're asked to compute the profit for each product. So to get the profit is simply sales minus cost of goods sold gives us gross profit. So we already know the cost per product that it costs us to produce, $77.58 for the, for the uh, Bosco and Shimano was $114.87. They tell us in the story up there our sales revenue for these products. So we can simply bring that down into our income statement. So for the Bosco is $456,450, and for the Shimano is $1,192,100. Now I need to compute my cost of goods sold. Well, it says we produced and sold the same number of units. So 5,100 
of the Bosco and 9100 of the Shimano. So for cost of goods sold, I would simply take 5100 for the Bosco, multiply that times my cost of production, which was 7758, and for the Shimano, I would take 9100 and multiply that times 11487. And when you do that, you should find profit for the Bosco to be 60,000 775 and for the Shimano 146 790